Pardon? Yeah. All right. Um, then I can look at this in a 3D view. Uh, I don't have anything selected. Uh, let's see back. It gives me a 2D view. Let me go over to the 3D side of this thing. For a cut. Okay, now I want to look at this in the 3D view. To do that all day, you're going to have to work this bunch of code. All right, I want to tell this thing that I want this to give me a preview of what this thing is going to cut out looking like. And I can do it with different colors and backgrounds on the thing. See, I, didn't, I didn't recalculate this thing. It still thinks it's going up and down. I got to go back to this thing here and tell it to recalculate. Remember? Ah, now it's right. <laughs> We changed it around, so I had to go back and tell it. And this gives me all my points on there, how my tools are going to go through here. And the different angles, see my point would have been coming from over here. It goes into it, tells you where it's coming from off the top of the thing. If I roll this all the way over, <coughs> uh, like this, and if I roll this, bring it up, zoom up on the thing. And you hold both buttons down, and I can move this thing side to side before I want to. But you can see, like, if I come over here, this is showing the tool path, how the tool is going to cut. The red line shows you when it's in the air. The blue lines show you when it's actually cutting. But a lot of times it raises up above the thing to go from one spot to another spot. What's the red line? Travel. The red line is the travel, when it's traveling above the wood. The blue line will show where it's going to make it. It'll even show the lines, how the red lines are coming up and down. They're coming down into the cut, and then the blue line shows where it's cut. And if I tell this to preview my cut, it'll go, go through there and start making the cut. But a lot of the stuff you do with the software before you ever get to the machine to know what you want to do with it. Yeah, you have to do some kind of... I mean, there's ones that you can get off, off the internet. There's, oh, okay. They've got a, a whole ton of them right now mm -hmm. that people have been using this software for years, mm -hmm. and they've donated theirs. They, they've got a form. They go, see what I did? This is how I did it. So they give it to you. And you can take parts and pieces of theirs and put them into yours. Uh, the scroll work. I can take this scroll work right here take it out of this one, put it in a blank one. This gentleman over here was, was planning on using something like, you know, some kind of scroll work. He's going to put four corner pieces on his thing. Mm -hmm. but I'll, say, I've only got one. I've only got this piece right here. I can stick it on there. I can tell the machine to flip it or copy it and flip it at the same time. So it copies it and flips it. Then I can grab both of those and tell them to copy and flip that. I can tell horizontally or vertically. Mm -hmm. So if I tell horizontal, I'll go this way. I can spread them out until I'm on the four corners of my piece. In about two minutes, I've got my thing made up that I want to go engrave. Computer does all the work. You don't have to think about it. Anymore. I like that. All right. Any questions here? questions? Alright, I'm going to pull up something next now. That's the program you design that with. This is the program right here that actually controls the machine. And we're going to go over, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over by the machine and we'll film it and I'll show you how the machine works. We'll turn it on and show you how you plug it in, what you make, and we'll make another one of these pocket things. After lunch? Yeah, we might as well wait after lunch. <laughs> Damn, people think about the coming all the time. Alright, I'll let everybody go to lunch and after lunch we'll go there and we'll work for that after lunch. Any questions on this part of it? On the software? How to get your hands dirty with it? What do you mean? Everybody? So you can everybody? take a picture of anything and it'll, you can put it on. Yeah. 
You can Every, put my face on your project. Oh, yeah. Every, everybody's going everybody's to get a chance Would you to make this? something with it. Uh, but the way, way we got the, the classes are going to be scheduled to be able to do them from now on, either on your curio cabinet that you're making or gun cabinet, on the, the door, the panels down there, on the um, um, I like to do work, some on the workbench, on the door for the workbench. Yeah. We could do something on the door for the workbench. We could put something there. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, because you've already done both of those, we'll figure out something else for you to put it on. But everybody else here hasn't done all, all, all those things yet. So, well, I don't know. You took your workbench done, but you're on your curio cabinet. So on those two doors down there, we got the raised panels. We'll put something on. I can unbolt that door. Huh? <laughs> you can unbolt that Pretty door. Cool. The trouble is that whole door won't fit in my machine. I need the inside of it out. Uh -huh. Make it on that before you put your outside on. Where the specs on that, so your pattern can only be. Well, I, I can, I'm only oh, so wide on, on the machine out there. I'm only so wide and so long. I can go 13, it'll cut 13 inches wide and 24 inches long. But then I've got the overall limitations of the machine to get inside of the, the pieces. And I don't think that door is going to fit inside of those no. pieces. See, what we do, we do the center piece first, and then you glue it together. Even the center piece on those are too mm -hmm. big. Even the center piece on them workbench doors is too big. No. no. They're more than 13 inches. No, they aren't. I don't think they are. Oh, my God. Yeah. No. On, on, the, on the what? The workbench, the paneling that goes on the inside. It it's may be. 24 long. We'll measure it at the lunch. No, it's, it's 24 tall. Yeah. But you're only about 20 plus you got minus 5 inches, so you're down to what? Maybe 15 wide. Mm -hmm. But you're only, you know, that part would still fit inside of my machine, but you're. Oh, getting, and the machine will only go 13 by 20. Yeah. Okay, all right. But all right. I, I, but I, ain't gonna fit yeah, in. but I still got, I got 4 inches on either side of that, so I got 13. Okay. Yeah. Now I got probably 19 or 20 inches I can yeah. get inside of that no. whole thing. But I can't get the whole door in there. Right. That's too wide. No. I'll probably do some flowers or tulips on my cereal. Okay. No, you yeah. probably would. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll put a, put a deer on the thing or something else on there. But when you you, let, me, let me show you, let me go through and show you something. How you just pick out any picture, how you do this stuff. Yeah, and then we'll go to lunch because we'll be done with this part of the thing. Actually, it'll probably be something with ducks, man. I got ducks here around right the house. I'm going to go back to that same program I was using. What? That's that here. Just sipping on my soda. Yeah, I seen how it look. Sipping on my scissor. Probably got about six or seven stuffed ducks around the house. Ceramic one. That's animal cruelty. Live ones. <laughs> All right, I want to create a new file. 10 by 10, one inch thick. Okay, that's good enough. How many different bits do you need to run that? Depends on what you're going to cut or what. Pardon? How many different bits do you use? It depends on what you want to do with it. Okay, I'm going to import a picture, a bitmap. All right, I'm going to go to. Ah, shoot, I can't do it from here. I can't do it from here. All right, let's see what I've got here. I was going to say, I was going to take one of, your, one of your guys' pictures and put it in there. Uh, how about a car? Anybody see some flowers? Anybody see any things here they like to look so? How about a snake? There you go. Mm -hmm. This is a JPEG, which, you know, everybody knows JPEG is just a picture you pull off the internet, right? It's mm -hmm. just a picture of something. All right. <laughs> I'm going to tell this that I want to. Uh, where am I at here? Fit vectors to the big map. Vector, can you 